They were a group of neighborhood kids who, with a little help, turned their hustle into an LLC, building life skills and earning money all by cutting grass. But I think the worst pain of it all was to tell the kids that all their stuff was gone. Now for the third time in six years, thieves have taken everything they have. Easily $5,000 worth of lawn mowers and other lawn supplies were taken. Thieves stole the mowers right from the storage space used by this group of young Detroiters who started their own business six years ago. Mar McDonald first met that group when they were starting out, and Mara, they've lost everything yet again. Devin, if it's even possible, thieves have taken more this time around, and talking to these boys who I first met five years ago, you can tell that they are just so sad. Take a look. Everything was locked up tight and it didn't matter. Thieves took 20 lawnmowers leaving behind the one with a broken wheel, about 10 weed whackers and a ton of lawn and garden supplies. But why stop there? They took everything that we had. They even took the water heater, the furnace. Vaughn Arrington bought the commercial property on East 7 Mile as a part of his nonprofit work six years ago to headquarter all the equipment for the boys who called their business quarter cuts. Me and my buddy were on our way to Dollar General, and this is our building for my company. That was Adonis Brooks five years ago at 12 with pride in his voice describing quarter cuts. He was a charter member of the Lawn and Snow Removal Service made up of inner city boys and someone the younger boys look up to today. I tell them keep their head up. I just tell them keep going. I don't stop. His good friend Devonte Chandler is a year older. I actually graduate next month. Um, I'm going to college. And told me this when I asked him how good he and the rest of Quarter Cuts were five years ago. The best in a D. The older boys are coping with this latest loss better than the younger ones. An opportunity that was never just about pocket money for cutting grass. They can see a tomorrow that has nothing to do with the abandoned house, the crime that they are victims of. They can see a tomorrow with us in doing this work. And that's really more importantly than the lawnmowers. That's what was taken from them. Back here live, I asked Vaughn, does he think that the people who are taking all this stuff have any idea that they are stealing from children? And he told me, how can they not? You see kids coming in and out of that building all the time. Now, Arrington has started uh, a GoFundMe uh, to try and replace everything as well as expand the program. If you're interested, all that info is on our web page. Click on Detroit.com. We're live downtown tonight. I'm Mara McDonald. Local four. Let's hope folks pitch in, and I, I know they will. All right, Mara.